What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be running through everything you need to know about the Steam Summer Sale 2021. So I'll simply start off by opening up my Steam client and navigating across to the Steam store. As you can see, currently it's the Steam Summer Sale from June 24th till July 8th, 10 a.m. Pacific. With this, you'll probably notice something new in the top right. 14 all new Forge Your Fate stories. What exactly are these? Well, before we get into these, if you simply scroll down on this page over here, something you should be doing it daily, if you're one who likes leveling up your Steam profile or at least crafting badges, is look out for the Explore section. You get a free trading card each day just by exploring the Discovery queue. As far as I know, you also get cards by buying products on the Steam store, as well as some in-game items. Anyway, I'll simply click through all of the items in my queue over here, and when I get to the end, you should see that I've got a new card waiting for me. Here we go, finish queue. Now you should be given a free event card that you can use to craft the event badge. If I head across to my Steam profile and then to the badges section, you should notice a new badge somewhere along the line, the Forge Your Fate badge. Unlike the Steam awards up here, it doesn't have Steam in the title, so you may be a bit confused in finding it if you have more than a few badges. Anyway, it's the Forge Your Fate section that you're looking for. You can also get here by clicking the card in your inventory and then clicking the view badge button. Forge your fate badge, Summer Sale 2021, level one. As far as I know, if these are anything like the previous badge sets, you can level these up as high as you want, basically. Simply just buy more cards, craft more sets, and you get more items as rewards. Of course, you can trade for them or buy them on the market. I would currently recommend holding out until much later in the sale as the cards will be very expensive near the beginning and I think expensive at the end of it as they will expire and vanish at the very end. You can of course collect these cards on as many accounts as you'd like, but it's much quicker to get them by buying items on the Steam store and spending money or simply buying the cards directly. Currently, it's 13 Rand 49 for a full set of these cards, so it's just under a dollar. If you know anything about leveling your profile, this isn't exactly the most profitable way to do it. You can get many cheaper badges. And if you're someone who does like crafting badges, I'd highly recommend clicking the link in the description down below to check out an extension for Chrome and Firefox of mine, the Techno Steam Card Assistant. It's open source, so if you'd like, there's also a link to the GitHub page down in the description below. Basically, it lets you craft multiple badges at a time instead of clicking the craft button, reloading the page, craft, reloading, etc., etc. You can craft multiple badges, either from the badge page or from the badge list page by clicking these buttons over here. Anyway, self-plug out of the way, that's the badge section of the summer sale with all of the cards inside of it. You get them by doing your cube, one free a day, and by spending money on Steam. But as you noticed earlier, the more curious part of the sale is the 14 new Forge Your Fate stories. By clicking this banner at the very top or clicking the link in the description down below, you'll be taken to the Forge Your Fate section. This year's summer sale is no ordinary deep discount super sale. You're about to face a gauntlet of short stories, ending with a choice that'll help classify what sort of hero you are. Choose from two possible actions in each of the 14 Forge Your Fate stories, found throughout the sale and receive an animated sticker as a memento of your decision. Upon completing all of the stories, you'll get one of five unique badges reflecting your choices. So get choosing. All items must be claimed before July 8th, 2021 at 10 a.m. PST when the summer sale comes to an end. So what exactly do we do here? While scrolling down the page, you'll see there's a number of different categories and you'll see browse action featuring this over here, browse adventure featuring browse role playing, etc., etc. Let's start with the top one. Upon clicking the action category, we get taken across to the, as you guessed it, action category of the summer sale. Though, what exactly has happened here? Well, it's highlighted a couple of games in the action category and a couple of games that are supposed to be on, I guess, Super Sale up at the very top over here with their own separate sections. I would assume these are also tailored to you based around what you like. In the top right, you'll see click here to continue your story. If we click this, you'll see a pop-up. It's a familiar make your own story path kind of story. Of course, if you'd like to skip the section, make sure to skip to the time on screen as I'll be reading through all of it. Journey to Action Island. You love action. If you have one fault, it's that you love action too much. If you have two faults, it's that you love action too much and you're selfish. For action, you get off the plane and flex your fists and smell the air and your fists. It's a good day for action, you think correctly. Suddenly, a massive, smooth-skinned man with a mustache and angry-looking muscles leaps from behind a plane. You, he bellows. We're going to fight unless you have something to say about that in the next three seconds. What kind of hero will you become? Choose your ending wisely, like a bell that cannot be unrung, this decision cannot be undone. 
At the very bottom of the page, you'll see two separate options. If you engage the smooth skinned man in fisted combat, turn to page 19. If you get back on the plane, turn to page 24. Let's go ahead and fight him. The smooth skinned man sails a lazy fist over your head like a blimp. Curse my slow punches, he scolds himself, then breaks down crying. You happily punch the tears back into his eyes. I'd like to see you cry with this much action happening, you laugh. And he gets it. One handshake later, you're back in the plane. Destination, more action. If you decide to continue your journey, turn to the Forge Your Fate page to select another genre featured there. And as you can see, we've got a sticker on the left. You unlock the sticker. Cry some more. Now in your inventory. Awesome, so now with this, we've claimed the sticker for this category. You can view it in your inventory by clicking the Now in Your Inventory option. Or of course, this link isn't working. As you can see, refreshing the page, you unlock the sticker, cry some more. I'll open up a chat, open up the sticker section, and on the animated sticker section, you can see the new sticker over here. Cry some more, forge your fate. If I click this, it'll send to the person, much like any other normal sticker. Now, of course, for this, you can simply head back and go through all of the different categories on this page. Now, of course, if you'd like, you can actually read through them or simply just pick whatever you'd like. Now, of course, I could tell you to create two different Steam accounts and run through all of the options, picking any of the different number of them. But instead, to make it nice and simple, in just a moment, I'll show you all of the first options and the stickers that you get for picking them, and all of the second options and the stickers that you get for picking those using alternate accounts of mine. Incoming, another plug of mine. If you have multiple accounts that you often switch between, I'd highly recommend checking out my Techno Account Switcher, yet another open source project. I'll head across to the Steam tab and select a different account of mine. By double clicking, it'll simply close out of Steam and log me into that account, even though it's protected by Steam Guard, a two-factor code, and a password. It's really super simple. You'll find a link to the project's GitHub page in the description down below. Anyways, let's start clicking through these. And now that we've run through all of these over here, scrolling down to the very bottom, you'll get what I assume is a unique avatar frame down here. Congratulations, Hero, you've unlocked a badge with its own avatar frame for you to flaunt your fate. I'm not too sure if there's only two different variations of this or thousands of different variations, depending on exactly what you chose above. I would assume if you choose all of the nice options, you'll get something nice. If you choose all of the bad options, you'll get something bad and anything somewhere in the middle. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and choose all of the other options. Once again, I'll use my Techno account switcher, double click on a new account, and I'll be logged into it instantly. There we go. Once again, I've run through all of the options, this time choosing the other available one, and at the very bottom, I get a new frame. Pretty cool. And assuming you pick different options, you'll probably get a different avatar frame as well. These, however, I probably won't be able to show you every one. If you click equip your new avatar frame, you'll be able to choose it here and get a preview of what it looks like. This is the ghost one, and this is the masked avenger one. If it's something you like, great. If it's not, well, unfortunately, you're not able to make different choices, so you're kind of stuck with it. Now, of course, because there's so many different options, I won't be able to show you all of the different combinations. In fact, I'll only be able to show you those too. On the screen, I'll be showing you all of the different animated stickers that you can get for choosing all of the different options. On the left will be the first, and on the right will be the second option. But if you're someone who wants to explore this yourself, this is the end of the video. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Once again, if you'd like the account switcher, it's linked down below. If you'd like the fast badge crafting tool, it's also linked down below. And of course, links to all of the different sale pages that I showed in this video will be found down below. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!